And it occurred to me that we're, we're talking about fear versus love. We're talking about fear versus freedom. And I didn't intend to say this today, but Excuse me. My beautiful, now 22-year-old child told me last year that they were gender nonconforming. And over the last year, I have come to understand from a deeply personal mother's perspective. I've always been a civil rights activist. I've always fought for my constituents and my communities to have equal rights. But from a mother's perspective, I came to understand what their newfound freedom, it is the only way I can describe what has happened to my beautiful child, what their newfound freedom to wear a dress, to rid themselves of some conformist stereotype of who they are, to be able to express who they are at their real core. And since this deeply impactful moment last year, my child, who has always done well in school, but has carried what a mother can only describe as a heavy burden of conflict in their own being that I could not fully identify or help to express. Since this deeply impactful moment last year, my child's embracing of their non-conforming gender identity and all that it has allowed, all that it allows in terms of their creativity, their brilliance, their self-expression, the only thought I wake up with every day is my child is free. My child is free to be who they are. And in that freedom comes a responsibility for us as legislators to protect that freedom to be who they are and to legislate, as Dr. Wiley so beautifully said, to legislate our behavior towards all people in our society.